Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video. I'm glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Gallus, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Indirectly, the Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild although its existence is a closely guarded secret. The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services and no arms. She influences our luck and in return demands payment. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense and sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket? It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. From the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive. But together, we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus's memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild. And it seems they've spoken. It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. <laughs> Do you mind? Yes? What did you need? So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. Rocks and valleys, crevices and hiding places. This is the kind of place where hermits and fanatics dwell. What's wrong? Then right in. I'm kidding. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brenda. Business. This is a Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. You would be hesitant to join your night. Quite like that. What's troubling you? I need to talk with you. With everything that's going on, it looks to me like you're about to participate in a Daedric ceremony. As for what will happen specifically, 
I'm not exactly sure. Just know that if you have to pledge allegiance to this nocturnal, know that there's always a cost. With great power comes great price. <sighs> if this is really that important to you, then I don't think we have much choice here. After we're done with all this, promise me that you'll find a way to break free from this contract. It might be nigh impossible, but it's worth a shot. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Be a good guide for this old relic. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale, and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? By transacting the oath with Nocturnal, you're entering into a business deal. You'll be provided all of the power and knowledge befitting a Nightingale. You're free to use those powers as you see fit, to further your own goals, or the goals of the Thieves' Guild. In return, you'll be required to defend the Twilight Sepulchre, and everything within when the need arises. More importantly, upon your death, your spirit will be bound to the Twilight Sepulchre, as one of its guardians. Once the oath has been struck, the terms are binding. Knowing this, are you ready to undergo the ceremony? Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. We'll speak when the oath is complete. We'll speak when the oath is complete. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlyle. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next, in 
until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Transacted the oath. It's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence, and whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Yes? Listen, lad. What did you need? There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts. Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it. Don't want it. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then... We have quite the task ahead. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Aye, and some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade and spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Until next we meet, lad. So, it's done? Thank you. Mercer is a much more pressing matter at the moment, but after we're done, I'll start doing some research about Daedric contracts. Possible loopholes. Ways they can be void. Now, shouldn't we get going? 
Brynjolf and Carlia said to meet them in Ur King, whatever it's called. Let's get going. How are you doing, my friend? So, this must be the place. Come on, Carlia is waiting. But wait, I think we need to talk. I don't think I'll go inside with you. It's very unlikely Mercer is working alone. He might have hired some thugs to go after you. I'll stay on guard here. Just watch out for yourself, okay? Good luck out there. I'll wait here. Snowing. Top down. Run. Shadow skill. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Nothing can move like that. <laughs> Impossible. Everything went dark. I didn't even hear anyone scream. Just, just felt the blade enter my side. 
came out of the shadows. <laughs> didn't... Didn't even have a chance to draw. <laughs> Mercer's been here. I hope we aren't too late. Brynjolf and I found them like that. Mercer's doing. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. We should tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. I promise you that. us to follow. Aye, lass. And we'll be ready for him. Let's keep moving. in this place. Have you ever seen anything like it in your life, lass? Can't say that I have. Imagine the riches hidden within these walls.
Looks like we can take the low road or the high road across this chamber. Your choice. Our tower collapsed. The only reason he'd do that would be to block pursuit. It must be Mercer. We'll have to find another way around. Mercer was able to knock this thing down. God. It's the key, Brynjolf. In his hands, there's no telling what he's capable of. Bones. Look at that monstrosity. It's a dwarven centurion. Very tough and very deadly. We can take the beast on or sneak around. It's your call, lad. We're right behind you. Thanks. 
No, only one option in it. What was that? There you are. Reeks of Falmer. This must be their hive. We'll have to keep silent if we want to avoid drawing their attention. Even a farmer don't deserve the pain these implements must have inflicted. The dwarves were a cruel race. 
of the farmer in this chamber. We can sneak through or take them down. I don't care. As long as we get to Mercer. Aye. Whatever you want to do, we're with you.
must prepare ourselves. Then this is it. We do this for Gallus and for the guild. He's here, and he hasn't seen us yet. Brynjolf, watch the door. I lost. Nothing's get by me. Climb down that ladder. See if you can... Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? me I could feel a sudden shift in the wind and at that moment I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade what's Carlyle been filling your head with tales of thieves with honor oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises nocturnal doesn't care about you the key or anything having to do with the guild Do I detect a hint of genuine avarice from this noble thief? Perhaps Carlia and Brynjolf misjudged you and your true nature is no different than my own. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale blood! Carlisle, I'll deal with you after I rid myself of your hurts and companions. In the meantime, perhaps you and Brynjolf should get better acquainted. What? What's happening? I can't stop myself.
So, how did it go? Glad you're still in one piece. Good to hear. So, what's next? Is that the... by my ancestors? Mercer really had the Daedric artifact. And because he didn't want to serve Nocturnal, she withdrew her boon from the Thieves' Guild. They started to rot. Until what's left of them were scurrying underneath the sewers of Riften. But why did the Thieves' Guild always have to rely on a Daedra? Couldn't they have been successful otherwise? I can't believe it's over. Twenty-five years in exile, and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the Skeleton Key. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the Skeleton Key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life. And it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. I've been a nightingale for a very long time. I sold my allegiance to Nocturnal in exchange for many profitable years of thieving. Falling in love with Gallus was wrong. It was a distraction that allowed the Sepulchre to be desecrated. And it likely cost him his life. Until the key is returned, I will never set foot inside that place again. Even though Nocturnal doesn't desire worship in the traditional sense, the Twilight Sepulchre propagated a small group of priests. Of course, they never come into direct contact with Nocturnal, but they insisted they had her favor. As part of their duties, the priests created all sorts of baseless rituals and ceremonies, all on Nocturnal's behalf. These priests weren't a threat to the Skeleton Key, or the conduit to Nocturnal's realm, so they were tolerated. One of their ceremonies involved the Pilgrim's Path, a so-called test of worthiness. If a Pilgrim was able to complete the path, it was said that they would live forever in twilight. What that means is anyone's guess. The conduit to Nocturnal's realm, the realm of Everglow, has been in Skyrim, well, longer than recorded history. The Twilight Sepulchre was constructed around it by man and myrrh in order to shield it from those who would exploit its power. It's through this conduit that we're given Nocturnal's greatest gift, our luck. What she gains in return is a complete mystery. Hmm? Right now, the Guild needs someone to maintain order. Everyone is awaiting the news of Mercer's demise. It couldn't be a more precarious time. I also need to reassure Maven that it's business as usual without Mercer, and that a new Guildmaster will soon be taking over. Listen, lad, I have faith in you. I know that sounds strange coming from a thief, but these recent events have changed my perspective. I can't think of anyone better suited to return the key. Just remember to keep your eyes open and walk true with the shadows. Until next we meet, lad. Yes, hello, Nightingale. Yes? What did you need? I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better Hope everyone than enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon. See you all on the next video. Enjoy life. And stay.